you lose the die roll. But it's okay, because they chose to play first. I am making myself a note, um, telling you that you usually want to, uh, actually I'm telling Chris that, one of my friends, telling him that you usually want to draw on the sealed because your, your mana base is not as good. But you just want to draw your bombs like MPG bail off. So we really would like to draw a swamp here. But we have a turn one last raider. And they're looking it over like, come on. Are you kidding me? You would have turn one last raider. That's really annoying, I find, that if adventuring gear is unequipped, it still triggers. Drawing that swamp's really good, because now we have a turn 3 vampire nighthawk. It's so pretty. So far so good. We didn't curve out like a champ though and play Vampire Hex Mage. Now here I'm thinking uh, let's Vampire Bite the Vampire Nighthawk. And get in there for a 10 point swing. I can't really attack with uh, the 2-2 two -two right now because he's got 3-3 three -three. and can't really play Crypt Reaper either but I did draw this figure so I can swing in with both now interesting enough some people would actually um make that play anyway whether they had this figure or not because they just want to kill their um, their lacerator so I kicked it um, I don't know if I should have but it seemed okay to give myself a uh, Plus five life with the lacerator and then two more. That puts him in a really tight spot. I was really hoping that that uh, would have been a swamp instead of forest. I think that's why I hesitated there. Yeah, well, I'll go ahead and disfigure. And it's 26 to 7. Might as well get him out here. And I don't lose a life. Rather than playing Quest for the Grave Lord, I just swing in for two, four, five, six, seven. And that's game one. It's a pretty good first game, I think. 
We did get kind of a nut draw though. So uh, turn three Nighthawk is always good, and then Vampire biting the Blast Rider. All right, so don't really uh, have a whole lot to sideboard out. Didn't see any flyers though, so not sure what we sighted out there. I didn't really see, but um, oh, okay, Cobra Trap maybe. It's not that great. We are on the draw. So he's not a good hand. But we have a couple turns to draw some things. We got the Giant Scorpion to buy us some time, and there we, we drew land, so. Wooly's got the Scorpion. We'll have the Bailoth for the late game, and we can put the uh, Savage Silhouette on the Scorpion, even. There's our Swamp. See, look how annoying that is. Every land he plays. That triggers. No creature. Playing the core hookmaster without any targets is fairly bad play. So we need this card now. And since we already have, um, we have 17 lands in the deck, might as well just discard land. But, of course, we draw another turn 5 play that is really good. It may have been correct to discard the 1-3 uh, the there instead of of the land. Which in hindsight which is always twenty twenty uh seems more reasonable. So that's not going to get us anywhere when he's a 2 2, but making him a 4 4. That is good. So we'll swing in and we'll go on to the next video.